Hello and welcome to the UC Bug video tutorial on batch rendering. So this is going to be a nice and quick tutorial on how to batch render your scenes in Maya. So here I've started out with a scene. Uh, it's a little skull effect in particles, as we can see right here. And it sort of floats away. So as we can see, the effect lasts for about, I think, 72 frames, right? Okay, so we'll actually go with 60 here. There's no particles on screen in frame 60. So we're going to render this scene uh, for 60 frames. So the first, uh, first thing you have to do is go up to here and click on your render settings. Now this will pop up a window. And now the first thing you're going to have to change here to make uh, Maya render multiple scenes is your frame animation extension. If it's on this, these two settings, name or name.x, you're going to get a single frame and you won't have an option to batch render. So I usually like using name number extension. Uh, it works well. Now frame padding is the number of zeros to put in front of your frame. Here I just need one because I am rendering uh, to frame 50. If I was rendering to a frame that was three digits, such as 150, I'd probably want to put frame padding up to two here. So with my, I'm going to change this to 60 here. And now as we come down here, we're going to see that I have a choice of which camera to choose. Now I only have four cameras, and the one we were looking at originally was the front camera, so that's the one I'm going to want to choose. But this is very important to make sure that you choose the correct camera here, because if you don't, uh, you're going to find out that after rendering 60 frames that you have gotten the wrong result. And it's very Now with the amount of options for HD video nowadays, I always like rendering in 720, and if I'm really feeling uh, up to it, I'll render in 1080, but that takes a lot more time, so I'm just going to choose 720 here. Um, all my other options look good. Um, for this batch render, I'm not going to go into any specifics on actual uh, rendering here on the actual options, so we're just going to forget about those, assume there's okay. Okay, so now that my render settings are complete, I'm simply going to go up to render and hit batch render. Now, you can see right down here that if you open up your script editor, it'll sh uh, show you the results of your rendering right now. No, so right now it's rendering, and you can see here that I'm getting feedback on how many frames are done. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to when this is finished. Okay, so now we can see that our rendering is complete. Uh, if we go open up our script editor again, we'll see that we have rendering completed. I see console for more information. Okay, so now we have rendered our 60 frames and the goal now is to see how those look. So I use QuickTime here, so let me open up QuickTime. Okay, and I'm going to go to File, Open Image Sequence. And now as we can see, here are the uh, images I just rendered. So I will open these at 24 frames per second. Now it's going to be a bit big because I rendered it in HD. So let me go ahead and uh, make it smaller here. Okay, now let's go ahead and press play. Oh, and we can go ahead and see that my effect uh, came out pretty well. So I, if I wanted to save this, I would just go to export and then save it as a move file. But I actually don't need to save this. So I'm just going to exit out. And now you know how to batch render your scene and combine it into a movie file. Uh, always check out our other video tutorials at our YouTube channel for UC Bug. Uh, this is Kyle, signing off.